The English title Deuteronomy derives from the Greek Septuagint. Misinterpretation of copy of this law in the 17th chapter and the 18th verse as second law, which was depicted Deuteronomium in the Latin Vulgate. The Hebrew title is translated as "These are the words," which indicates the first two Hebrew words of Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy is the fifth book of the law, and it completes the five-component literary constituent termed the Pentateuch. The basic structure of Deuteronomy. First address of Moses, second address of Moses, third address of Moses, and the final days of Moses in chapter thirty-one, verse one, through the thirty-fourth chapter and the twelfth verse. The book of Deuteronomy comprises mainly of Moses's final sermon, which poses. At a pivotal contingency, not only in the history of the Israelites, but also in the evolving of Jehovah Yahweh's revelation, it provides an appropriate pinnacle to the Pentateuch, bringing the theology of promise and covenant to its fullest and most developed rendition, and lays the theological foundation. For much of what proceeds from both the Old Testament and the New Testament, the most compelling contribution of Deuteronomy to biblical theology lies in its view of the grace of God. A mega portion of the book is devoted to explaining that even the children of God. Are inherently sinful, and the validity of their moral failure. In spite of everything that God has done for His children, they will surely disobey. Moses, however, envisions the new covenant. At the inmost level, the theology of Deuteronomy is a theology. Of grace, it foresees the coming of Jesus Christ, who will deal with the sin of humanity, and will ultimately fulfill the law. Deuteronomy, like the Psalms, is frequently quoted by the New Testament authors. Jesus and his apostles taught from it constantly. The book of Deuteronomy. Assist in preparing the Christian heart to receive Jesus Christ.